Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is September 19th, and the title of today's devotional is, Are You Going On With Jesus? You are those who have continued with me in my trials, Luke 22 and verse 28. Dr. Chambers begins, it is true that Jesus Christ is with us through our temptations, but are we going on with him through his temptations? We are comfortable with the assurance that Jesus is with us in times of temptation to strengthen us to say no. But what is this that Dr. Chambers is saying in regards to Christ's temptations? He continues, many of us turn back from going on with Jesus from the very moment we have an experience of what he can do. Watch when God changes your circumstances to see whether you are going on with Jesus or siding with the world, the flesh, and the devil. Dr. C is explaining how the temptations we face are actually temptations against the Christ who is in us. When temptation comes, where does it take us? Closer to Christ or onward into the sin? O.C. asks, we, are, we wear his name, but are we going on with him? We wear his name, but Will we carry the cross of shame, scorn, and humiliation? Will we carry the cross of temptation? He is with us, but are we with him? Jesus promised to never leave us or forsake us, but will we pull a Peter and run when things get adverse for his name's sake? Chambers quotes from John, a time when a number of Christ's followers began to question his teachings, and from that time on, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Dr. Chambers reminds us the temptations of Jesus continued throughout his earthly life, and they will continue throughout the life of the Son of God in us. Are we going on with Jesus in the life we are living right now? Temptations are not temporal in nature. They plague us all of our earthly days. Chambers speaks rightly in that we have the idea that we ought to shield ourselves from some of the things God brings around us. This would make life so much easier to not be tempted, to have a God shield all around us that kept us from temptation. Chambers admonishes, may it never be. It is God who engineers our circumstances and whatever they may be, we must see that we face them while continually abiding with him in his temptations. God is in charge of what touches our life, including the temptations. Follow closely now, for here's the crux of today's lesson. They are his temptations, not temptations to us, but temptations to the life of the Son of God in us. Jesus Christ's honor is at stake in, all, in our bodily lives. Are we remaining faithful to the Son of God in everything that attacks his life in us? Resistance to temptation will be proportionate to our stand in Christ. Paul wrote to the Ephesians, Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Be strong in the Lord, not of your own strength, but the strength of God's might. Paul here addresses our battling Satan, but in what way? That of fighting against temptation and, succ and succumbing to sin. Put on God, God's armor so you can stand against the schemes of the devil. Schemes such as, did God really say that? Or, no one is watching. Or, it will benefit you in the end. And whatever countless methods the devil uses to allure you into temptation. The struggle on an everyday basis isn't a battle of flesh and blood, armament and battalions, but it's within you for the sake of Christ. Will you honor Christ through obedience? Chambers asks, are you going on with Jesus the way he goes through Gethsemane, through the city gate, and on outside the camp? The way is lonely and goes on until there is no longer even a trace of a footprint to follow, but only the voice saying, follow me. To whose voice are you most attuned to listen each day? To whom do you want to listen? You will listen and obey the one for which you have the most desire, 
will it be Jesus. Thanks for being here today, and now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for his highest. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye now.